Hello guys, welcome to Greg's Chan 1. I'm Greg and this is Channel 1. Recently I got some uh, John Cena merchandise and AJ Styles merchandise. Something like that. Uh, yeah, I got that very, very recently. And I also got Bailey merchandise. Because I'm a hugger. Anyway, just thought I'd throw that out there, seeing as you know, today is a wrestling video. And today, I'm doing my predictions for No Mercy, which is in Sacramento, California. Now, in all honesty, I think this could be almost as good, if not better, than Backlash, which I well and truly loved. So we'll start off with the match that will start the show off, which is this match. The kickoff show. Don't know Jack, this is the Lone Wolf. Jack Swagger versus Baron Corbin. Now, as you can see in my little uh, card, I've added a best choice, which is who I think is going to win. Now, in this, I think it's going to be Jack Swagger. Jack Swagger is going to look... Uh, I, you can't make him look really weak on his big time map. So what you do is you give him a couple of wins. You've got the screwy win that he got in on SmackDown and live. You give him a bit more of a convincing win this time. But make it almost where... You know... Baron Corbin doesn't necessarily look weak, so maybe a roll up. You know, Baron Corbin goes for a clothesline, Jack moves, smacks him into the corner, rolls him up. One, two, three, Jack lets go. Jack gets out, you know, says, You don't know Jack. Drops the mic. Baron Corbin is dazed, like, What the hell just happened? Loses his rag, you know. Beats, you know, beats around the arena looking really, really annoyed. And he goes after Jack, beats Jack Swagger up at the end, storms off, looking like a petulant child. That's my thoughts for that. Then the match that I think will follow that, and the first match of the actual card, will be this match. Mrs. Cena versus the Princess of Stan Island. Nikki Bella versus Carmella. Now, as you can see, I'm going for Nikki Bella here. Carmella's been getting the better of Nikki. Carmella's been getting the better of Nikki so far in this feud. You know, Nikki's looked kind of strong, but Carmella's, you know, pinned her a couple of times. Carmella's made her look a little bit weak made a tap out. So what you do here is you have Nikki pick up the win. You know, maybe you know, Nikki's down. You know, you've got I, I think it's gonna be a very, very face winning pay per view. Um so you have you know Carmella, you know, she's like, hey I got Nikki Bella on the floor, Nikki Bella's, you know, I've been beating her up all match. Yeah. Nikki gets up, gets a bit of a comeback, pins her, one, two, three, job done. You can then follow it up however the hell you like. Which next, I think the next match will be, kind of wish I'd order these now, this match. The SmackDown Tag Team Championships between Beauty and the Man Beast, also known as Rhino and Heath Slater, versus Evil Usos. Now, if you can work out which one's which, let me know, because I never know which one is which out of 
J Jimmy and Jey Uso. So if you if you know who which one's which, and how to tell them to the, tell them apart, let me know. Awesome. Um, now for this match, I think Slater and Rhino are going to retain it, but I think they're going to have to vacate it on Tuesday. What I think will happen is they'll get a victory over the Usos. And then you'll get them walking away with the championships. The Usos will come back into the ring, attack Rhino, brutalize Rhino so much that they have to vacate the titles. Because that's kind of what they'll be doing. Rhino's got his career to think about, you know, his political career, so you can then write him off, so on and so forth. And it's what they've been doing a lot. You know, targeting the leg, brutalising their opponent. You know, just ask Zack Ryder. Just ask Jason, um, Chad Gable. I mean, who's next? I think the best option is you take out Rhino. You beat the hell out of Rhino. You injure him, so then he can obviously go and do his campaigning stuff. Everyone's a winner. Therefore, then he doesn't look weak. Next match... Is going to be this one. Smackdown Women's Championship between the last kicker and the blissful one. Alexa Bliss, I think, is going to put on an amazing showing. I'm really behind Alexa Bliss at the moment. I think she is fantastic. What she does in the ring is fantastic. She's, you know, compact, she's great fun to watch. Becky Lynch, amazing face. Really, you know, I think Becky's going to win. You know, Becky is the face. I think it's going to be very face heavy. I think there's probably going to be one heel, one heel winner tonight. No, two. It's going to be two heel winners tonight at No Mercy. Becky's going to win here. I think it's going to be one of those matches that goes on for maybe 10, 10 to 12 minutes. You know, you've got Alexa throwing everything she can, getting really aggressive, you know, brutalising Becky. Becky's, you know, doing her old straight fire, or whatever the hell that thing is, which is cool. I love it. You know, she's going to be doing her strange, yeah, beats up Alexa a little bit. Alexa's kind of going, what the hell? Power bomb. Uh, Alexa rolls... You know, starts creeping away to try and get away from the pin. She grabs her, puts her in the disarmor. She taps, Alexa taps out. Happy days for Becky Lynch. Now, you know, that's what I'm thinking with Becky, because they're going to keep building Becky strong. They're going to keep building Alexa strong. So, you know, she's not losing really easily. You know, where she's putting up a real fight, and it's, you know, a string of good moves that have finished her off. That kind of thing. Which then leads to our last three matches. But which one do I think is going to be third main event? It's going to be... This one. The Viper versus the new face of fear. Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt. Now, anyone who's watched any of these videos and watched any of my opinions on wrestlers... No, I'm a huge fan of Bray Wyatt. I wish the WWE was, though. I get the feeling that... Bray is going to lose. Again. But this time... I think it's going to be... Harper comes back, if he's coming back, and he's coming to SmackDown. He'll come back. He'll try to help Bray. Orton will avoid it. You know, some kind of disc he'll go for a discus close line, he'll miss, because Orton will move out of the way, he'll push Harper out of the way, Bray rushes in, Orton drops him with an RKO, one, two, three. Or something along those lines. Or Luke Harper will come back, go for a discus close line, Orton will duck, Bray gets hit, Orton looks, Bray struggles kind of back to his feet from the discus close line. RKO, thank you very much. One, two, three. But Bray's going to lose, and then you're going to end up seeing Bray versus Harper. Or 
if Harper doesn't get involved, you'll have Bray doing really, really well. One RKO, job done. Because that's what WWE like doing. Great way to put over your young and your your, your fun talent, the talent of the crowd. Uh, never mind. Which leaves us with two matches. Now we got the world, we got the world title match, the Intercontinental Championship match. Now everyone would expect me to say, "Oh, the world title should be the last one." Yeah, most people would put the world title as their main event, but because of the connotations of the IC match, next match, and the penultimate match before the main event will be. Do 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 the World Championship match where your AJ is going to pick up the win. It's going to be one of those good matches where I think I think John Cena is going to take the fall. John Cena is going to take the fall. Dean's going to get I think Dean's going to get brutalized. Both of them are going to tear Dean apart. Dean's going to take most of the bumps. Um, Cena will start taking loads of bumps as Dean kind of gets rolled out of the ring because Dean's deader than a dodo. To which Cena will take a lot of bad bumps and you'll be like, oh my god. Is John Cena actually going get to you know, get pinned? Cena will do his little comeback thing. Dean will come out. He'll be distracted by Dean, hit him with the AA. He'll turn around, AJ will set up. Styles clash, one, two, three. Done. That's what I'm thinking. Because you're not going to take the title off AJ Styles. He's only held it for a month. You're not going to take the title off the phenomenal one. Come on. You know, you ain't going to do it. If you take it off, what was the point of putting it on him in the first place? That's, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, yeah, Cena's going for title number you know, World Championship number 16, but I think that should happen at Mania. You build it up where you've got, you know, AJ, you enter into a program with AJ and John again. You know, maybe you have Dean slip off, you know, Dean gets so badly brutalised that he doesn't come in the following Tuesday, you know, he takes a couple of weeks off, he comes back and he starts getting his ass kicked, and, you know, you can start something off with Dean where you know, he's on a bit of a losing streak, he's struggling, but he's building himself up because he's starting to get wins to get himself back into the title pitch. You have John Cena get pinned by AJ, and you have AJ say, I beat you again, John. I did it again, John. What are you going to do, John? You're never going to be number 16. You're not going to get your 16th world championship. Oh, poor John Cena. Oh, well, never mind. Bye-bye, John. And because, you know, John Cena's like, No! I'll tell you something, Jack. I'm gonna do it. I'm, you know, I'm gonna take the championship from you, Jack, because I'm better than you, Jack. Because I never give up, Jack. As he does, his old "You can't see me, whatever" shtick, which I like. I'm not gonna hide it. I do like John Cena. And you know, you have John Cena. You know, what you do is you have John Cena lose clean, maybe two or three times in a row to AJ. And he's there going, I can't beat this guy. He's gone through me time and time again. And at Mania, you get one thing you don't want. John Cena getting his 16th World Championship. Or what most of the fans don't want. But with something everyone wants. A heel turn. You have John Cena have to cheat to beat AJ Styles. Because AJ keeps beating him clean. So in the end... He ends up, you know, he's got a chance. He'll turn to, you know, blow blow to AJ. AJ goes down, something like that. But we'll come to that in due time for WrestleMania when that happens next year. And I've gone off on a tangent. Which means, one match left. Which I think should be the main event tonight. And that is this match. Intercontinental title versus career match. The Miz versus the Shelf. Dolph Ziggler.
Now, after the Dolph documentary, where you know we saw all of Dolph's really bad moments, where you know Dolph held the title for like ten minutes or something, and then Edge comes in, Boop, mine, ha ha, yay, yeah, and that kind of stuff happens, and you kind of go, Dolph, 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 and if rumors are true. And I don't really care much for the rumours. But, from what I get, you know, from the way that I've looked at the feud, I think this is it for Dolph. I think what's going to happen is, because obviously Dolph is there saying, you know, you give and you give and you give and you just don't get anything back, but you keep giving and you keep giving. And it's going to be one of those matches where Miz is pulling everything out. Dolph is pulling everything out. And you're there going, ooh. What I do think, as a swerve, because you know, Miz is like, you're done. Retired. He'll have retired. But, what with Brie Bella being pregnant, if Daniel Bryan decides he's, you know, going to be a bit more of a stay at home, you know, make sure Brie's okay, he could hire Dolph Ziggler as his um, assistant. Yeah, Dolph, you know, when I'm spending time with my kid, and when I'm spending time with Bree, when she's having her, you know, pregnancy stuff, I want you to run the show. Because you can then kind of keep the few going. But obviously Dolph knows he can't wrestle against Miz anymore. Something like that, I don't know. But I think this is where you see the end for Dolph Ziggler. You'll have Maurice get kicked out early on, you know, and Maurice will pull out the... Uh, perfume and go to quickly spray Dolph right at the start. Ref will spot it. Oh no no no! You get out of there! Like they do because they're like, nah. and you know they get. She gets kicked off. Yeah, you know, Miz is like, oh crap. Okay, I'm gonna have to actually work harder than normal to beat Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, you know, and you have a great match. You know, where you end up with famous uh, zigzag. Dolph is hitting everything he's got, and Miz. He's kind of doing the face thing of he's not giving up. Because Miz doesn't want to let go of his title. That title means too much to Miz for him to let it go. Something like that. And in the end, you know, Dolph goes for a move, you know. You know, Miz is in the mid in the corner. Dolph goes, Miz moves. Dolph hits the turnbuckle, falls back. Miz sets him up. Skull crushing finale. One, two, three. Done. Bye bye Dolph. Still your Intercontinental Champion. The Miz. Now I love Dolph and I love Miz. I th uh, they haven't booked Dolph right for so long. <laughs> you know, you've got to just take old Yeller out and down. <laughs> yeah. that, that's it. But I think it's going to be an amazing pay per view. I think it's going to either beat Backlash or it's going to be on par. It's going to be ten times better than Clash because Clash was just... Uh, meh. And I, d I, I didn't... I, you know, I didn't used to be this negative about Raw, but... Uh, so go Smackdown. No mercy. Let's see what you got. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please, thumbs up. Always does me good. Double thumbs up if you really want to, somehow. I don't know how that's meant to happen. Uh, I don't know, like like it and then get someone to comment and then like the comment i don't know but thumbs up is always good if you'll you know want to see more of this silly stuff and me talking about wrestling and anime and stuff like that subscribe here or here somewhere down there and leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below let me know what you think you know do you think dolph is gonna win do you think Camilla's going to... Yeah, what do you think is going to happen? Let me know. And if you've done a video, let me know. I'll come in over and watch. I might even subscribe. I don't know. Subscribe to me, I'll subscribe to you back. Something like that. Anyway, nothing else to say, but uh, see you later. World title.